Let's get started installing Django. Before we can install Django, let's install and manage pipm. Pipm we need for a couple of things. The first thing is that pipm manages pip. Pip is the package installer for Python. This is how you're going to get all your packages that you need for Django installed. The second thing that pipm does is that it serves as a manager also for virtual m. And yes, you can use pip and virtual m without pip m. However, it's a more convenient way to manage these two programs that you'll need to use all the time when you do Python development with Django. We're going to use pip to install pip m. There's two ways. You can do pip3 install pip m although this I've seen not work on some systems so do something slightly more verbose python3 hyphen m for module pip then install the name of the package is pip m it's already installed in my system so you're you'll see something different on your system if it's your first time installing pipm. If you don't have Python 3.6 or 3.7 installed on your system, go to python.org and scroll down a bit. Go to the download section. There's a Python 3.7.4. You can have multiple versions of Python installed on your system. Although I'll be showing you how to use it on Linux, the same technique will work on Mac OS or Windows 10. To create a new Django project, you first need to create a folder. So I've created a folder, Beginner Django. There is nothing in it right now. It's blank. I'm going to use a command uh, from pipm to install Django in this environment. But first, let's install Python. So it's pipm hyphen hyphen python 3.7. This will create a new virtual environment on my system with Python 3.7. I'm not going to install Django. The command pip m install Django. This will likely install Django 2.2 on your system. I'm also going to install a graphics library for Python called Pillow. So the three things I installed, I installed Python 3.7, I installed Django, and then I just now installed Pillow. I'm going to activate the shell, pipm shell. I've not activated the shell. You'll notice that on the left-hand side of the screen, the prompt has changed to beginner Django. This is the name of the directory that I have the virtual environment in. To activate the virtual environment, it's pipm shell. To exit the virtual environment, it's exit. I'm going to go back to pipm shell. The environment is activated. Python version of 3.7, which is the one I just installed. Checking the version of Django, it's 2.2.5. I'm going to quit out here. OK, 
Congratulations, you just installed Django. It was a successful install. Let's review what we did. We first installed pipm. Right, so this is after you've installed Python on your system. You've had pip3 running. You're able to install pipm. With pipm, you've installed a virtual environment where you installed Python 3.7. Once Python 3.7 was installed in the virtual environment, you were able to install Django, Pillow, and then you activated the environment. The next section will start a new project and get the server running. Let's do it.